Well, David Tafuri was foreign policy advisor for the campaign of former U.S. President Barack Obama and has also worked for the U.N. and the U.S. State Department. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. So Haiti's envoy to the U.S. says police have killed uh, four suspects and arrested two others and says they are foreigners. You knew and worked uh, with the Haitian president. What do you make of what we've learned so far? Well, we saw a clip from the ambassador, Bochit Edmund, and he's talked a little bit about what happened. We're learning more. Uh, I met with the president two years ago, a couple of times in 2019, including at the home where he was killed just a little over 24 hours ago. Uh, it's a tragic event. The president was imperiled even then, two years ago when I was last in Haiti and things have spiraled downward. Since then, there was a constitutional crisis, which you described that, uh, you know, many people in Haiti wanted him to leave the presidency in February. He insisted he should stay another year. There was a security vacuum in Haiti. Uh, the security forces were not able to keep the streets safe. And anytime the president did use the security forces in order to put down protests, there ended up being more violence, deaths, and then he was accused of not having proper control over the security forces. So there's been an absence of safety in the country that has contributed to the instability along with the political crisis. What everyone is wondering, I think now is, first of all, who is responsible for this? We're learning more, perhaps some of the people, the suspects have been killed or captured by the Haitian government. We wanna know uh, why they did this, uh, plan this uh, tragic attack on the president, and then what is gonna come next? who will be the next president, who is going to be the leader of Haiti until their elections. Yes, um, certainly those who have been arrested should be able to answer some of those questions. And of course, uh, we can't speculate at this juncture. But uh, what will the assassination of the president mean for the country going forward? And of course, uh, the transition of power? Well, it's worsened the constitutional crisis. Even before the president was killed, there was a constitutional crisis. Uh, it's also uh, put into question the succession. Normally, under the Haiti Constitution, the head of the highest court in Haiti would take over as president if something incapacitated the president. But in this case, the highest, the head of the uh, head, the highest court, he passed away last month due to COVID. We have a acting prime minister who has asserted that he is now in control, but there are even questions there because before President Moise was shot and killed, he actually appointed a different person to be the prime minister who was supposed to be sworn in. But as a backdrop to all of this, we also have a parliament that is not meeting and that is not functioning. And the parliament therefore will not be able to ratify anyone uh, to be the acting president. So these are all questions that need to be addressed. Haiti needs the help of the international community to move through this crisis towards stability. Right, and certainly that transition of power will certainly need to be figured out and that question answered. So what can you tell us about President Moise's work, uh, what he stood for and what he may have been working on that would have motivated his enemies to move to assassinate him? Well, the president was a businessman before he became the president. He was a successful businessman. Uh, he, but almost from the very beginning of his presidency, he was accused of uh, corruption. He was accused of not being the, the rightful president, although the U.S. government and many other governments found that he was democratically elected in a free and fair election. There were still those who criticized how he came to power. The biggest issue he was facing, though, is he wanted to amend the Constitution, and he wanted to have a referendum on the amended Constitution in September of this year. He felt that was important to get past the gridlock that Haiti faces with the parliament being basically stopping the ratification of any government. But there are many who thought he was consolidating power inside Haiti, and those people were against the uh, amending of the Constitution. So that was probably one of the biggest and most controversial issues that he was working on before he was tragically killed. 
David uh, Tafuri, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, the search and rescue.